In this video, I'm going to show you how you can bulk download attachments from Airtable using mini extensions. This is one of our most popular automations um, and is obviously can be used in a variety of, uh, of scenarios where you might just want to get all the files from an attachment field from, from your whole table in one go, um, or maybe you just want a subset. Um, but yeah, people use this to um, to save on their Airtable storage, for example, to migrate their data to maybe another um, cloud storage platform or to just have a backup, uh, a local backup basically um, of their data. Um, so there's a variety of different scenarios in, in which this can be useful. Um, but let me just show you how this, how this works and how this is set up. So here I have a basic table. Um, which is three records, and each record has a few files in this um, in this uh, attachment field. And there's also a category which could be like a, you know, maybe like a department or maybe a, um, like a, a certain type of record, uh, which we're going to use later on. Okay, so let's go to mini extensions, and here I'm just going to create a new automation, and the the bulk download is one of the most popular, as I said, so it's always going to be towards the top of the automations list. But you can also search download and it'll be pop up right away, or you can also select this attachment filter here, and that's also going to make it very easy to, to find it. So let me just select that, and then I just choose the right table and hit create. So the setup for this is, is very basic in, in, in terms of um, you know, the, the, the standard functionality. Um, so you don't really have to set up much if you don't want to. So by default, it's just going to pick the first attachment field in the table um, automatically. Um, in this case, this is already correct. If I had multiple attachment fields, I could just click on this and select uh, the other one. If you want to download several attachment fields at the same time, um, this is not directly supported by this automation. But we have another automation that can first merge them all into one field. Um, so basically, you can also find that through the attachment uh, filter on the create page. It's, it merges several attachment fields into one, and then you select that merged field here, and then you can download all of them. So this is still very much possible. It's just not. It's just one extra step in the middle. Okay. So yeah, by default, it's set to preserve the original file names and to just put all files in one folder. And let's just see what this looks like. Um, here you could set a filter if you wanted to. So if you only want to download a subset of records based on an Airtable view, you can do that here. Um, if you don't set anything here, it's going to download everything, all the records. So if I just hit download here, um, this can take uh, quite a long time, obviously, if you have a lot of data. Um, this has been tested with like thousands of records and several gigabytes of data. Um, but in those cases, it, it would take quite a long time. Obviously, this is a, a very uh, small example, so it doesn't take too long. So let me just bring that up. So this is what's been downloaded now. As you can see, all the files are just in one folder and they're not, they've not been renamed at all. Okay. So let's try that first. Let's try renaming <clears throat> the files that we're we're downloading. So basically you just choose a, a custom file name and then you get an, a, an option to select a file name field, um, which in this case, I'm just going to pick uh, the name field. And basically what this is going to do, it's going to rename every, every attachment in this record first and every attachment in this one second and so on. And obviously there's multiple here. So in those cases, it just starts with first and then it's going to do a first one, first two, etc. cetera. Um, so let's just um, try that out. Let me download this again. And let's unzip this. All right, so this is the result now. I have this first and first one, first two, and second, second one, second two, etc. OK, but they're still in one folder. So now let's try that as well. So you can choose to, to split up the download in different folders. Um, by default, it's going to use the record ID as a folder name. 
And this is just useful because um, if you want this to be uh, unique, if you want, if you absolutely need or want one folder per record, the record ID is actually a good good way of doing that because it's always going to be unique. Whereas if you choose, you can choose an Airtable field for this, um, for example, the name. But if that name was not unique, you could have attachments from several records in the same folder because it's just going to take that name basically as the folder name. And if they if that coincides with two different records, both of those records are going to end up in the same folder. So that is uh, that is just how that works. Um, so you can do um, um, if you want to to split them up, you need to make sure that they that they're unique. But you can also use that to your advantage, which we're going to get to in a minute as well. So yeah, let's just um, leave this as it is right now. So we have the folder name set up to be name. And then if I download this again and unzip it, all right. So this is the result now. I have three folders for the three different records in my table. And then each one of those has its appropriate records inside. Okay. All right. So as I mentioned, um, if the folder name field is not doesn't have all unique values, you can get several uh, attachments from several records in the same folder, and this can be a desire, you know, something desirable. Um, for example, if you have like a category of records. Um, you, you know, maybe that could be like a department or that could be, you know, like a certain type of record that you might want to group the downloads by. You can do that. Um, so that can actually be really useful um, in, in those cases where you don't want a separate folder for each record, but you want a separate folder for each category. So in this case here, I have two categories, A and B, and I want to use those to split up the download. Um, there is a bit of a limitation right now, um, which by the time you're watching this, it may have been resolved already, but um, for now, you you cannot use a single select field as the as the file name, as the folder name field. But this can be easily resolved um, by just creating a formula field that literally just takes the, the value from that category field and just um, converts that basically to a formula and this field you can use as a category right now. So if I go in back in here in the settings and in the folder name setting, uh, the folder name field, I should say, I can just select this download category field. And now if I, if I download this again, let's just let that save. All right, so now if I just download this again, it's gonna split it up into into those categories. All right, so now I have one folder A, and that's gonna have the first and the third record, and one folder B that only has the second one, and this coincides with what I've set up here. So the first and the third are in A, and the second is in B. Yeah, so this is super powerful, obviously, um, and and it's been a much requested feature to have these uh, these folder. Um, structures in, a, in an easy way. Um, and another uh, re frequently requested feature has been to also allow um, processing individual records. So basically to just have a quick way to download all attachments for one record. So this is done um, through this option. You just um, click on this copy formula button and then you can copy this formula and just paste it into um, Either a, either a formula field or it can also be a button field. So it just looks a little nicer. And you just paste that in here and you know, let's put a label on there that says download. So now I have a download button for each record. And if I click that, it's gonna download this record's attachments. So if I click on this now, it just uh, triggers that download. Uh, yeah, okay. And and now if I go and 
Yep. Okay. So this is basically the download right now. Um, it still it still uses those um, the folder name feature, um, but you can see it's only it's only that it hasn't downloaded anything else. Um, so yeah, so that's a that's a super quick way in which you can um, yeah just download individual records as well. Um, if you, for example, you know some people have many many files in the same attachment field, and they might only want all the files in one go, but for only that one record. Um, so this is the way in which you would do that. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions about this or need any help in setting this up, feel free to let us know and we'd always be happy to help you.